I could award the best superhero theme song, this one would tie for number one. Obviously, my boy Static Shock goes hard too, but Batman Beyond was always one of my favorite versions of Batman out there, like period. I wanted to be Terry so bad. I mean, the suit alone was goaded. The all black with the red symbol and red wings what had my six year old brain absolutely tripping. I mean, it's probably part of the reason I got into martial arts as a whole. So it's only right that we have come full circle and now it's time to find out how you can really become the Batman of the future. Besides, the story takes place in like 2039, I believe. So somebody better jump on that quick. For some clown who thinks he's Batman. I am Batman. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Fight Like a Superhero series. Basically, it's a series where I use my 21 years of martial arts experience to analyze and break down the fighting styles of your favorite characters from TV, movies, games, and pretty much anything else. And then I show you a move or a combination at the end so that you can practice right now in your backyard. Now, I've done some other different versions of Batman and other members of the Bat family before, so it's about time that I cover the true heir to the cowl, Terry McGinnis. First, let's start with his abilities the suit will give him. The new and honestly better Bat suit gives Terry enhanced strength, agility, speed, durability, invisibility, and flight along with other things. But there's absolutely no way in HE Double Hockey Sticks that we're actually gonna get a suit with that much tech in it. I mean, like 2039 is only like 16 years away and my man Elon Musk is really out here just letting your boy down. But luckily there are ways of enhancing some of these stats regardless. We're gonna get into the gym with weightlifting, start conditioning your body with the Shaolin monks and get into a lot of sparring. Monk training is for durability. They are able to do some crazy feats of strength that seem to be superhuman level. So obviously that's how we get our personal durability with our own bodies. Weightlifting is obviously for strength. Strong men are able to do some amazing feats. Ray Williams was able to squat nearly a thousand pounds on his shoulders. So that'll give us something close to what the bat suit gives Terry. And sparring because it's one of the best ways to increase your reaction time and speed speed in combat. Batman Beyond is able to react to lasers, explosives, and speedsters in some cases. So you're going to want to need to be able to notice the little tells that people do before they actually make their moves, like winding back before a punch or leaning into a kick or whatever it may be. That way you can react to them incredibly fast because there's no way of actually increasing how fast a human can react. You know, your brain only can react to things so fast. I know, we all hate biological limits. But now let's get into the actual combat style. Let's dance, bozo. Now, Terry was just a random street kid that Bruce took in. Well, um, nah, no spoilers, but if you know, you know. But he didn't get super high-end training like the Robins did. He came in already knowing, for the most part, how to fight pretty well. What are you doing? Fighting dirty. The real Batman would never- oh, Told you you didn't know me. And from what it looks like, he probably picked up kickboxing. It blends both kicks and hands together really well, making for a very balanced base to our Batman Beyond build. Focusing on being streamlined and effective over pretty much everything else. And when fighting a ton of Jokers one after another after another, we definitely want to be effective. But it's more than just one style. I mean, it is still Batman after all. We are also going to use specifically some point fighting sparring to add to our fighting experience, but also uh, it will help with our ability to dodge incoming attacks. Point sparring is, in my opinion, one of the best ways to get good at not getting hit. And it works for Batman because Terry loves dodging enemies more than blocking, like by far. Dodging is his favorite thing to do. Now, it's not that he can't block like some other super beings out there, wink wink nudge nudge clark i'm looking at you but it definitely has uh or <laughs> batman definitely has his preference when he's in combat which is totally understandable when you're fighting people as strong as some of the people that he fights <clears throat> we are also going to blend that with some parkour as well terry's movement style really leans into his combat in terms of dodging and parkour will give you the ability to move around the battlefield effectively and smoothly. I mean, it's literally coming from military obstacle courses and training, so it's really just doing what it's actually designed for. However, we are going to mix in some wushu for his kicks 
though. Why not use Taekwondo? Well, because honestly, I wanted to switch it up just a little bit. Wushu can teach you the slightly flashy kicks that Batman uses just as much as Taekwondo can. And since Terry doesn't really rely on the super flashy moves like someone like Dick Grayson or Spider-Man would use, uh, either Taekwondo or Wushu work and I really just, I wanted to use Wushu for once. I've used Taekwondo so many times. But in the episode Curse of the Cobra, Boost takes Terry to his friend's dojo and he learns even more. And I'm pretty sure that's when he learns Judo, at least really gets proficient with Judo, allowing him to throw people with absolute ease. Tossing around opponents that are much bigger and stronger than he is, just like any Judo practitioner would. Lastly, we are going to spec into ninjutsu, specifically because, you know, if you can throw a ninja star or a shuriken, you can throw a battering. And obviously Obviously, we need to throw a battering because Terry be throwing those as often as he can. Some of the time he just points his arm and shoots, but you know, we're just gonna stick with being able to throw them. And if you wanted one, because I'm gonna teach you how to throw them at the end of this video, definitely check out the link down in the description. But we're also going to implement the stealth tactics that Ninjutsu gives you as well. Now we can't quite turn invisible like the suit lets us do, at least not to my knowledge we can't, but we're definitely gonna give, our, give it our absolute best with Ninjutsu and our tactics with how we walk and how we, you know, go about staying stealthy. And if you start right now, you might just be good enough to actually be Batman Beyond in time. So why not start now and let's go outside and learn how to throw batterings ourselves. Hey, I just figured I'd let you guys know that there's new merch in the store. Like if you didn't even know I had a store, I have a merch store and there's new merch in it. So definitely go check it out. There might be something you like, there might not be, but you know, you never know until you know. So go check it out, links down in the description. All right, so we're doing a Batman video. So let's throw some batterings. Now, in order to throw some batterings, you really, it's all about two things, rotation. Well, not really two things, but it's about <laughs> like three things. Uh, it's about rotation, aim, and power. Now, in order to get all that correctly, let's start with how you hold your battering. I'm gonna be using these batterings specifically, and if you wanna get some just like mine, you can check the links down in the bio. Now, for these specifically, holding you can hold them either way. You're gonna to wanna to pick one of the wings. It really doesn't matter. They're pretty balanced, so it doesn't really matter which wing you hold. You're gonna pick one of the wings and pinch it. Now, depending on your distance, you may have to do some trial and error. You may wanna hold it this way. You may wanna hold it this way, but that can just depend on how far you are from your target and how much rotation you have on your uh, battering. Now moving into aiming, you wanna throw with your elbow facing towards your target. As you aim with your battering, your elbow points towards what you're throwing at. If you throw it out sideways, it will end up spinning sideways and it won't actually stick into your target. So aim that elbow before you throw. Now we have to get rotation on our battering. In order to get rotation on it, it's all about your wrist. As you fly it forward, as your arm elbow whips out, your wrist follows the whip. It's just like you're, you're whipping your entire arm out. So your elbow aims, pulls out, wrist is back and flicks all at the last second so you can give it a good rotation to help it stick into your target just like that. And when I threw that, it literally hit the same spot <laughs> as the one I threw earlier in the clip. And once you get really comfortable, you can start throwing both at the same time by pinching them in between your fingers just like so to allow you to really have a good grip on it. And then throwing your just the same exact way to get both to stick at the same time. And with throwing stars or batarangs, practice really makes perfect. I throw literally almost every day because I have a setup ready for it that's safe for it. So make sure you have somewhere safe to practice your battering throw. Otherwise, you might damage something or damage furniture or even if you're outside, there's still things around that you can damage. So be safe and like always, practice hard. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like doing these videos in the series because it's honestly just fun to do and hopefully you guys appreciate it as well. It would really help me out a lot if you dropped a like and just commented what you want me to add to the list. I have a list of characters that I would like to get to and if you have one in mind, 
put it down there. I know some of you said Naruto before and all that's added on the list and I'm working on other things as well. So just comment what you want to see, but make sure you hit me with that HBO special to help a brother out and subscribe to see more of my content. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja and I'm out. Sometimes I ask myself, is Batman just a suit or is the man inside? Time to find out. If you like this video, check out this full playlist here or one of these videos YouTube thinks you'll like as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next I'm on that Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin. Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim. Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to...